record heat to record cold, and now as we get the month of November, we're seeing t-shirt weather in southwest Montana. To say that we've had an unusual fall is an understatement. I thought I'd break it down just to show you exactly how unusual it's been. Call it cold, call it hot. You can pretty much call the last 10 weeks of weather anything. Anything that is, except normal. Well, as we say goodbye to September and hello to the fall-like month of October, we're saying goodbye to one of the warmest Septembers on record here in southwest Montana. That it was, as both Butte and Bozeman ranked in the top 10 warmest Septembers on record. And according to Warning Coordination Meteorologist Ben Schott of the National Weather Service, this September was so extreme, it could be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. When you look at the whole month as an average, I mean, that is a highly unusual event. Um, uh, records have gone back, back into the uh, late 1800s, so you're talking one out of, uh, you know, 110, 115. Um, you know, that's pretty significant there. Perhaps more amazing about the last several weeks is the abrupt change from summer to winter in just a matter of one day. What a difference 24 hours makes here in southwest Montana. We go from 80s to 30s, almost a 50 degree temperature drop in just a 24 hour period. Record highs to record cold in just a matter of days as we welcomed one of the coldest Octobers on record for the region. Surprisingly enough, such an abrupt change as we welcomed October is not that uncommon. We like to say here that October tends to be the transition month and uh, it tends to be the biggest roller coaster ride. And I think if most people kind of think back a little bit or if you look at through the records, you'll see that October tends to give us the biggest ups and downs. Let's just say if our winter is anything like the fall we've had so far, we are in for a bumpy ride. Now, I did get the chance to ask Ben about his winter forecast and whether the last 10 weeks have influenced it. And he said not really. Still expecting an El Nino winter here in southwest Montana, which generally means warmer and drier conditions. Ben did, though, mention the misconception that when we say warmer and drier, we're not talking 50s and sunny every day this winter. We're still going to get our Arctic blast and our snowstorm, just perhaps not as many as in years past. From the Weather Patio, I'm Adam Bell for Montana's News Station.